told me we could catch them. It would not be easy. You speak English. A little. I am not well with it. I will teach you to be brilliant. What do you reckon? I never picked you for a basket, Weaver. Beats wearing a straight jacket. You're doing good, Marie. You're doing good. Better than most of us. Sweet talker. I bet you end up running the country one day. So where's Lucille? I thought you two were joined at the hip. She's off exploring with our fishing boat girl. You don't like me in town, do you? What's to like? Won't be long now before we're rescued. She's irrelevant to me. What about me? You, Marie? You're OK. You think he is a good man, yes. He is a very good in bed. <laughs> Pourquoi? Hey, hey. What is that? What can it be? I don't know. Interesting. It must be left over from the war. Off the life raft, and I'm sorry to say it won't be able to work. Meaning what precisely? Meaning it's going to take a little longer before we're found. You said we'd be rescued. You said it would only take a day or two at the most. Yes, but that was before this. You must understand that for the time being, we are alone. And the important thing now is to survive. Someone should have radioed Pharrell. Please try and understand. It wasn't possible. I'm sure Lucille understands, Jack. This is a very distressing situation for everyone here. I think it'd be a really big help if you could understand that. John, let's just get on with it. What's first up? I think we establish a proper place here. And then we build a raft. A raft? Yes, it's the only way I know of reaching the next inhabited island. You know how far away that is? Well, with a bit of luck on our side and the right currents, I'd say two or three days. It's northeast from here. It's a good thing I still have my compass, because without it, we wouldn't be able to survive. Why is that? Because if we miss the island, and remember, it's only a dot on the ocean, we'd run out of food and water before we reach the next place. Wonderful. You know about building this raft? Yeah, I know a thing or two. Nice 
this work? Captain, the wood is burnt. Damn. It's my fault. Damn it. 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 Damn walk along the beach and find things. Had this huge collection of colored glass. You know, all different colors made smooth by the sea. He used to call them his precious jewels. There we go. Oh, no. I'll get some wet sand. your eyes. The maid's now as a princess. Oh, Andrew. <sighs> sort of been out of it, haven't I? Yeah. But you're feeling all right now. Right as a button. It's going to take a while. Pretty good job. Oh, but of course. Look how much we have. Wow. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you take these back to camp and I'll help Mintan find a few more. What do you think? Well, I would say we have enough for today. Maybe we come back tomorrow, yeah? Want to help us? Well, you know what? I was just going to go and check out the rock pool, so um, I'll catch up with you later. Hot. Hot. 
What do you think? We help the boys now, building the camp. Last three weeks. Sandy was always trying to show me how to do this. There you go. You did just fine. Okay, sir, just make the next appointment as you leave. Thank you, Marie. Don't you move or I'll cut your throat. I can hardly wait to get off this island. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of them. And I'm sick of the bloody heat. You think you are the only one? Of course not. Listen, I think you're spending a bit too much time with that Vietnamese girl. Why don't you give it a rest? You're jealous. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'm teaching her English is a waste of time. By the time we get off this island, she won't be able to say cat on the map. I have told you before, you don't tell me what I can do, okay? Then why are you bothering with her? Oh, she, she is alone, without her own people. What's the matter with you? Let's not make a big thing out of it, it's just... When we get out of here, we'll go our way and she'll go back to her own little world. I don't, don't think so. We are responsible for Mintam now. I do not intend to discard her when we get free of this place. I will help her make a life in Paris. Ugh. Jeez. You are wrong about her, Ralph. Mintam is very smart. Uh, no thanks. about Carlo again, aren't you? I miss him. I can't stop thinking what I could have done to protect him. I let him stay on that deck when I should have got him away. He just didn't have a chance because of me. John, don't do this to yourself. We both have to let go. We need you here. We need you to be strong. We're lost without you. We'll never get off this island. I'll get us through. I'll get us through for Carlo's sake. You're a good man, John Brava. That's why I married you. You could have done better. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll get over this. And we'll make the most of our lives, even if our son can't be with us. We just can't give in. Carla would hate us if we did. Mm. I love you, Gina. Why, it's been a long time since you've said that to me. Mm. I love you too. Mm. Oh, my love. Good morning, Mr. Have you 
been down here before? No, first time. How about you? No, I figured it was worth a squeeze. Getting a bit sick of mangoes. Hmm. Hey, how long do you reckon it's going to take to um, finish the raft? I'd say ten days at least. We've got to find a few more logs. I was hoping to find the right kind of timber around here. Well, there's a whole lot back there I saw yesterday. No, it'd be a bitch to hold down to the beach. We need to find something closer. It would save us a whole lot of time. Hey, what do you reckon's up there? Oh, best view of the island, I'd say. If I wasn't so busy, I'd find a way up there and take a look around. Hmm. I think I'll head up here. OK, well, good hunting. John Brava, that you have been taken from us is a hard thing to bear. The best thing I can say about John is that he was a good man. And there's blessed few you can say that about these days. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. May he rest in peace. Amen. going out to sea without the captain. Well, it's not up to you, Jack. We can still sail this thing. We know which direction to head, so what's to stop us? This for a start? Oh, we had enough bad news for one day. Oh. Found that beside his body. You want to be a hero? Damn you! Being so stupid. Damn the man to hell! <clears throat> captain hey, Brown! Hey, best person hey, I ever hey, knew! Hey, Why are you the way to get you to help And I'll break your head! God's sake! We have Come to work together! Go to hell. <clears throat> Thank you, Andrew. I think we'd better keep an eye on him. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Looks all right to me, love. All it needs is a cold beer. <laughs> 
You're as bad as her. How can you make jokes at a time like this? God-given gift. Pity he passed you over. Don't you understand what this means? What? The captain was killed by a booby trap. If there's one, that must mean there's more. What, you mean the whole island's covered in traps? It is possible, yeah. Well, who would do that? The Japanese soldiers. They were here during the war. Yeah, that was years ago. A oui, wee, but what is the difference if the traps still work, huh? Frankly, I find it a bit difficult to swallow. I mean, why would they set up such primitive things when they had guns? Who can say? Perhaps they ran out of ammunition. Uh, Min Tam tells me her grandparents use similar traps to protect the village from the Americans. So what do we do? We must find the traps and disarm them. Min Tam, your people were Viet Cong? They fought for the freedom of their country. You gotta be kidding. We see we're no better than those butchers out there. I am most proud of them. What is the matter with you? Nothing. I don't understand. Minda must have done nothing to deserve this. Do you hear what I am saying? She can do her thing and I'll do my thing, okay? Just don't expect me to be friends with her. <laughs>